As of 2020, an estimated 14% of Fairfax County residents were 65 or older, and by 2035, this number is projected to grow to 17.6%. As people grow older and want to remain independent, they often seek information about resources and services in their area to enhance their quality of life. The Fairfax County Department of Family Services Adult and Aging Division plays a vital role in supporting older adults, family caregivers, and people with disabilities in Fairfax County and the cities of Fairfax and Falls Church. The Adult and Aging Division includes Adult Protective Services, Adult Services, Disability Rights and Resources, and the Fairfax Area Agency on Aging. We offer services, programs, and resources to maximize personal choice, dignity, and independence. The front door to all our adult and aging programs and services is our Aging, Disability, and Caregiver Resources line. The phone line is staffed Monday through Friday between the hours of 8 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Experienced multilingual social service specialists can answer your questions and help identify the services and supports you need, such as case management, in-home supports, home delivered meals, caregiver support, and much, much more. ADCR also manages the Adult Protective Services Hotline. The hotline receives and validates reports of suspected abuse, neglect, or exploitation of persons aged 60 and over and incapacitated persons aged 18 to 59 who are determined to be at risk of abuse, neglect, or exploitation. Calls can be made anonymously and are accepted regardless of ability, race, sex, gender, language, sexual orientation, and citizenship status. Validated reports are then referred to the Adult Protective Services Program for investigation. APS specialists conduct home and field visits, interview relevant parties, and review available documentation to determine if abuse has occurred or is occurring and whether protective services are needed. APS investigations and protective services are provided without regard to income or resources. The goal is to stop abuse, neglect, and exploitation by protecting the adult with the least restriction of his or her liberty and prevent further maltreatment. Following an investigation, if the individual needs and accepts services, an APS specialist may arrange for a wide variety of protective services, such as health, housing, social, or legal services, to stop the mistreatment and prevent further abuse. Services may also be arranged for individuals in emergency situations who lack the capacity to consent to services. The Adult Services Program serves adults 60 years of age and older, or 18 years of age and older, who are impaired. The purpose of AS is to assist the adult to remain in the least restrictive setting and function as independently as possible by providing services and supports. AS social service specialists conduct home visits and assessments to help determine eligibility for services. For those that meet eligibility criteria, the AS program offers a variety of services, such as case management, home-based care, and screening assessments that are needed prior to placement into long-term care facilities or home and community-based programs. Social services specialists also provide information and referral to various public and community-based programs, including assistance with applications for public benefits. Another program within the adult services area is the Medical Respite Program. MRP is a short-term program designed for individuals experiencing homelessness while also facing acute medical needs that require recuperation. This program is for clients who have medical needs that are beyond the scope of the regular shelter program. The Medical Respite Program is a partnership between the Department of Family Services Adult and Aging Division, Housing and Community Development, and the Health Department. While enrolled in MRP, clients are housed at one of two Fairfax County shelters, Embry Rucker or Bailey Shelter. During their stay, clients are provided with a number of services while recovering from an acute medical event. These services include home health aid services, 
medical care and medical case management, supportive services case management, and homeless services. Disability Rights and Resources is another program within the Adult and Aging Division. Our mission is to promote the inclusion and independence of people with disabilities through education, training, and referrals so that persons of all abilities can fully participate in our community. The program provides information and referrals, regardless of age or type of disability, public outreach, and education regarding the Americans with Disabilities Act, Fair Housing Act, and other disability-related laws. In addition, our program staff support the Fairfax Area Disability Services Board. The board is comprised of 15 volunteers appointed by elected officials of Fairfax County, the City of Falls Church, and the City of Fairfax to represent and advocate for people with physical and sensory disabilities. The Fairfax Area Agency on Aging, otherwise known as the AAA, serves older adults, caregivers, and people with disabilities in Fairfax County and the cities of Fairfax and Falls Church in Virginia. Area agencies on aging, which can be public or nonprofit agencies, are mandated by the Older Americans Act and are designated by a state to address the needs of all older persons at regional and local levels. Many of the services offered through AAAs are also mandated by the Older Americans Act and support a range of home and community-based services. The Area Agency on Aging coordinates and offers a variety of education and services that help older adults age in place, if that's their preference. The Fairfax Area Agency on Aging supports with services such as nutrition programming, volunteer services, family caregiver education and programming, information and referrals, advocacy and education for those who receive long-term care services, Medicare-related insurance counseling, and in some instances, the Area Agency on Aging can even help with home repairs, durable medical equipment, transportation, health and wellness programming, and so much more. Our nutrition programs provide access to healthy, balanced meals and nutritional support services for people in both independent living and community-based settings through both home-delivered meals and congregate nutrition programs. Volunteer Solutions connects people with volunteers to build connection or help improve daily lives. Volunteers help in many ways, including providing medical and general transportation, social visitors, household services related to small tasks and organization, and many other activities. There are also opportunities to volunteer through the Northern Virginia Long-Term Care Ombudsman Program, which advocates for quality of care for residents of nursing facilities, assisted living facilities, and home care agencies. There's also volunteer opportunities with the Virginia Insurance Counseling and Assistance Program, which helps educate people on their options available to them through Medicare. As our population ages, many people in our community also serve as caregivers for older adults and people with disabilities. Our Family Caregiver and Support Services Unit focuses on the caregiver, which could be a spouse, a partner, an adult child, a relative, a neighbor, or even a friend. This program provides education and supportive services, including webinars, conferences, and forums, all aimed at supporting caregivers. The Adult and Aging Division strives to help improve the lives of older adults, family caregivers, and people with disabilities. As our population continues to live longer and the percentage of older adults increases, we want this population in our community to know that there are services available to support them. Contact our Aging, Disability, and Caregiver Resources line at 703-324-7948 to learn more about the Adult and Aging Division's programs. We also invite you to visit our website and stay connected to us by subscribing to our monthly newsletters, Access Fairfax, and the Golden Gazette, following us on social media, or tuning into Channel 16 for Mature Living.